Hi there, everyone. Welcome to episode 566 of the Mike from Maine Show, the place where we do daily interviews with successful online entrepreneurs. This is your host, Mike Thomas, and today on the show, we have Ryan Phillips on, and we're going to be talking about how he's been using the power of video sales letters to drastically increase his conversions. Now, in the interview, we actually dig way into it, talk about some of the mistakes that people make and the things that you definitely need to have in all of your video promotions, whether you're promoting someone's el- someone else's offer as an affiliate or if you're promoting your own as a product creator. Let's get into it. Here's Ryan. We are here today with Ryan Phillips. Ryan, welcome to the show. Thanks, Mike. I appreciate you inviting me on here and uh, hoping to share as much value with your subscribers and following as I can. Ryan is a video marketing expert, specifically with the results that he's gotten from using video sales letters. Ryan, tell us just a little bit uh, about how you got into making these video sales letters and some of the results that you've had. Sure. Well, I guess how, how I got into it was I, I failed my way into it. You know, I, I think that a lot of people online and you know, I guess with any business they do, the quickest way to become a success is to fail forwards fast, mm-hmm. uh, as I've learned. And that's exactly how I got into video creation. Literally, I launched my uh, first product. Um, I've still actually got the screenshots that the amount of money that I made was two cents. That was the congratulations. <laughs> you probably made more than than some other people out there. Yeah, than probably ninety eight percent. But yeah, it was it was only two cents. And the funny thing is, it wasn't from sales. It was actually from test purchases in JVZoo. So, uh, you know, big things were wrong there. And what I actually did is I went to my mentor and I said, you know, I've got this problem. Uh, what shall I do? And he basically told me. He said, "There's three ways to grow a business online: increase traffic." Uh, increase conversion or uh, increase your average transaction value and he said the best thing for me to do would be to increase my conversion so I kind of started learning about how to increase conversions I started studying sales copy you know the traditional long-form sales letters I started studying video sales letters I started studying uh, psychology persuasion influence in general and through kind of the research that I did I found that video sales letters would be the best thing for me to help increase my conversions and make more money online. Now now the interesting thing is it's not the best way to do it. And I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell everybody straight, like the best way to actually sell something is to stand face to face with your customer and then sell them something, whether it's in person or on a stage. Now the trouble with that is that it's hard to do and it's not scalable. The next best thing is video sales letters Uh, because you can scale it a lot more and then you can have a a video sales letter working for you, you know, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year without your involvement. And that's when I started to focus on video sales letters. Yeah, and and I, for my recent launch, putting a video sales letter on my sales page, it wasn't even something that I was like, should I do it or shouldn't I do it? I was like, of course I'm going to do it. Like, if, if I didn't have a video sales letter, it would have just been my my static page, and I'm sure I still would have gotten sales, but I wouldn't have been able to have that connection and the conversions and been able to uh, to really portray my message and to portray emotion and and just things that you can't do with just a a dead page out there. Uh, as far as the results that you got, I know that you were able to take your one of your sales pages and add a video onto it and get some results with this. Tell, tell us a little bit more about some of the results that you've gotten. Well, the, the actual increase in conversion, if I, can I just share my screen with you real quick? Of course. Quick? Uh, if I go to, um, if you can let me know when uh, you got can it. see my screen. Yes, we got it. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna show you is, let me show you this real quick. If I scroll down and like the headline on this page, it says, uh, discover how to increase your sales by 46.1% and skyrocket your conversion in the next 48 hours. Now, what I'm actually referring to, and this is, it's kind of got into, you know, a famous uh, case study. I work in the health and fitness space as well. Uh, I have a a product in the fat loss space and I work with clients. Now, this is uh, somebody called Carl, who's in the diet and weight loss uh, niche. Uh, his website was sixpackabexercises.com. 
dot com. Now I didn't work with Carl one on one, but what he actually did is he went from a long form copy to a video sales letter, and like overnight he increased his conversions by forty six point one five percent. And and you know these are the kind of results that you can get from. Uh, you know, using video sales letters, and even now, like the person that I'm working with now is a gentleman called Peter Carvel, and I work with him uh, one on one, uh, creating his video sales letters, and his business online is actually mainly on YouTube, um, and it's called Six Pack Factory, and he's got over a hundred million YouTube views, he's got over three hundred thousand subscribers, and I'm the person that creates his video sales letters. Uh, for him and his business, and it's it's the same thing. He saw the same results: a massive increase in conversion just through adding a simple uh, video sales letter to his to his sales pages. It's pretty crazy results. A lot of times when you're doing split testing, you're looking for I don't know a three percent increase in conversions, or like just a, a little bit of an increase there. When you have such a huge increase, uh, it's just undeniable that sales videos are, in my opinion, essential if you want to be able to sell well online and really be able to increase your uh, your conversions. And we, you've already shown us your, your headline for the, for the product we're gonna be talking about today, but I'll read it over again. It says, discover how to increase your sales by 46.15% and skyrocket your conversions in the next 48 hours. So we've already seen some of the results uh, of that, but what exactly is this all about? Bring us into the product a little bit. Well, it's basically, it's not just about increasing sales, it's about getting uh, any call to action you want really. It, bottom line is, to get higher call to actions on any of your, um, you know, the call to actions you want somebody to take, whether it's to opt in or if it's to buy a product or if it's just to maybe gain more of like an authoritative and credible brand in whatever niche that you're in, you know, bottom line is video will help you do it better and and that's why we we relaunched this Elite Video Evolution 2.0. We was looking at the the marketplace, you know, at the end of last year, 2014. I mean, it was a huge year for video, especially at the end of the year. And what I saw was that there were so many video softwares that were getting released out. And I thought, it's okay, you know, getting a video software and, and making a good looking video, you know, that's nice and it has its place, but it's not gonna make someone pull out the credit card hit the buy now button and buy from you. You know, that's a completely different story. And, and that's why we, re, we added some new modules into this training and re-released this, because it's actually talking and taking you through the psychology of the sales letter, uh, the video sales letter, through the training, all the way through to from, you know, the type of customer profile that you need at the start before you even start thinking about creating your, your sales material, all the way to the exact script that you should use and what I use with my clients to the psychology influence and persuasion parts. You know, we talk about embedded commands, persuasion triggers, a lot of the things that are gonna subconsciously really push someone over the edge to buy from you. And you know, we saw that in the marketplace with all these softwares that were getting released, no one was talking about this stuff. And that's why we decided to come in and, you know, uh, offer, you know, build a build an awesome product and teach people those things because that's what they're gonna have to use moving forward in 2015 to stay ahead of the competition. You know? Yeah, and, and I've already had the chance to to go through this product and and do my review and everything out of it. I usually do it in a different order. Uh, now we're we're doing the I did the review first and the interview second. So I've already seen uh, everything that's inside, and I can say uh, that you've definitely gone through all the different things that I think people they don't give enough attention to. The one thing that really stuck out to me was your first module where you talk about going, I think it was your first one, where you go and you start talking about figuring out who the person is that you're speaking to. It's like finding out what, what, are, they, what are their desires, what are their fears, what are their hopes, what are their dreams. And if you, if you don't do that, and I think a lot of people, and I think you even mentioned it, they'd say, this is the boring part, I don't wanna do this. Like, I wanna move on to the sales part and, and yeah. start seeing the sales coming in. But if you don't know the audience, if you talk to your audience like, uh, like they are 35 year old men, and actually your audience is, is women between 45 and 60, 
Like you don't speak, I don't speak to my mom the same way that I speak with you. It, it's different yeah. language, it's different slang, it's, it's just a different way of presenting ideas. Uh, I have different fears, hopes, and dreams than my mom, uh, I hope. And, and it's just gonna change uh, throughout the different, the, the different person. So that really fascinated me there, where if you don't build up your avatar correctly, you're, you're just gonna, you're dead in the water in the beginning. Yeah, you, you could have the best looking or even the best converting video sales letter or sales copy or whatever it is, but if it's not aimed at the right target audience, it doesn't matter how good it is or if you spent, if you paid someone $10,000 you know, to make that for you, if it's not targeted at the right people, then you're not going to make any sales. Definitely. Cool, cool. And one, one other thing that stuck out that I wanted to ask you about was you go into uh, not only the psychology, it's not only the kind of the theory behind it all and, and what you've been working on, but you also show how to create these uh, sales letters, whether they are the, the basic one that everyone's seen with the white background and the black letter, uh, the black lettering going al along. Everyone's seen those. I did that for my sales letter. Uh, or you also talk about creating even more like prettier ones that have more production value inside of them. My question for you was, in your experience uh, in selling your, your weight loss products, which worked better for you? Where where did you see more conversions? Was it in the the ugly vir, uh, sales letter or was it in the uh, the pretty one? Uh, white background, black text is is the number one control that I always start with. Like literally, when I, when I'm working with a client now, there'll be four that I go through. One of them is the white background with black text. That's always the control, the one that we always use. The next is what I call, or, or let's say, what you call the pretty version. Okay, when you have the nice animations and, and stuff like that. Uh, n normally, I see the basic ones, uh, you know, out out convert those. The next one is the hand drawn ones. You know, when you can get the hand that's on the screen and it's it's like I think is it video, is it was it video maker effects? Is it that or easy is it Easy Sketch Pro? Maybe Easy, easy Sketch Pro. Yeah, yeah, easy, easy Sketch Pro. So that that's the other one that I, that, that we always use. Uh, but you know, nine times out of ten, it's the basic white background, uh, black text. That wins, and you know, if, if anyone's in the weight loss niche as well, we've tested all of this. It's a male voice always outconverts a female voice. Um, having background music as long as it's not too loud outconverts when there's no background music. Like there's 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 lots of tests that you can do, but generally it's the the basic message, a good solid script uh, to the right audience, uh, nice and simple. Why do you think the male voice uh, outperforms the female voice, in your opinion? I have no idea. To be honest, I thought a female voice would uh, outperform the males because for, uh, you know, like the customer avatar for the health and fitness niche, especially in fat loss that I'm in as well, it's uh, the main kind of target market is women that are 35 and older. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I would just naturally assume, and this is what I did assume, is that women that are 35 would prefer to get weight loss advice from other women. That's why you see these gyms that are like ladies only gym because they feel they don't feel as pressured or that men are looking at them and all of that stuff. So I thought a female voice would outconvert a male's, but it, I have no idea why it doesn't. But in my test, a male voice always outperforms a female voice. And something that you talked about in the course as well is where uh, when, you, when you're trying to sell something to someone, and one of the reasons why you hear these these stories, when you hear about internet marketers' stories, they talk about how much how they were struggling and they, they couldn't figure it out and it wasn't their fault and then they were able to figure something out and, and able to, to finally get results with it. Uh, if your audience, and I think for the internet marketing niche, uh, a, a large percentage are males uh, in, their, in their 40s to, to 60s that are, are trying to make money online, if they hear that message from a man, maybe they are able to think, okay, well this guy has already done it, he's also a man, he maybe understands that, uh, he understands what it's like to have a, a, a wife who is maybe putting pressure on him or whatnot. And if you have the, the one with the, the weight loss with the woman, then maybe the woman would also, uh, like I understand where you were assuming that the woman would wanna to listen to another woman because maybe she'd gone through her struggles as well. So I think it's fascinating. Like I could talk about this stuff for, for hours where, where you talk about just the psychology of it all. But I think the, the main point is is that whatever I think, whatever you think, whatever our audience thinks, and we could all have differing opinions on this, the only way you can ever figure it out is by testing it and by seeing what your conversions are. The conversions are, or that's where you find out what the, what the real answer is. 
Yeah, exactly. And it, that's some really good advice as well. And that's why one of the modules in the course, we actually give the, the exact scripts that I use in my business and the exact video sales letter template. So you can literally download the keynote files, download the PowerPoint files. It's got the white background, black text, but it's also got the animated version as well. So people can split test them if they choose to. You know, they, they get everything. They learn all about what they what they need to understand to be able to create them themselves. But they also get all of the done for you stuff that maybe they think they can't do it themselves or maybe they don't have the time. They can just literally swipe and deploy the templates that I've already built, change you know a little bit of the script, how I tell them to, and then they're good to go. Let's talk a little bit about some of the biggest mistakes that you see people making when they go out and they want to make their first video sales letter and they come back to you and they're like, Hey Ryan, look what I made. And you're like, okay, like, <laughs> no, 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 you need to change this, this, and this. What are, what are the big ones that, that you see and how can we avoid them? Um, well, I'll give you an example. And what, what I'll do as well is I'll try and use something that maybe the people watching haven't heard before. Cause I know there are a couple of, uh, video courses that teach this stuff about, you know, the structure of the script. And, and to be honest, it, it's pretty it's pretty generic. Like, there's a different script they would use if you was going to do a launch like I'm doing now. For example, selling something at seven dollars, and I get joint venture partners and affiliates to promote for me because they already pre-frame their customers or their subscribers. So that they're making the sales a lot easier. You don't have to have half as much stuff in the script as if you're sending cold traffic. Okay, it's a completely different kettle of fish. Now, like I said, there's a lot of courses that already teach the script. Uh, the script formula that you should follow. So one of the biggest things that I see that people get wrong is the customer avatar and prospect profiling. So if it's okay with you again, I'll just quickly share my screen sure. and go over it and give everyone an example so they can see exactly what I mean. Love it. Go for it. Okay, awesome. So conversations, share screen. If you can let me know when you can see my screen. I can see me. All right, so customer profiling. These are the questions that I always ask when I uh, start any piece of sales material, if it's a video sales letter or if it's copy, whatever it is. Uh, these are the questions. What are your ideal customer's problems? What are the widespread symptoms of those problems? What kind of life do they have as a, as a result of living with those problems? What emotions are triggered on a regular basis because of those problems? And what are your ideal customer's beliefs, feelings, and desires? So what I'll do now is I'll go into one of these questions and I'll answer it. I'll use the internet marketing niche as an example just so you can start to understand exactly what I mean. And we go over these in detail in the course, but let's take your ideal customer's feelings. So this is what I did in the internet marketing space. This is what I did before I actually went and created a sales, a video sales letter in the internet marketing space. I answered these questions. So this is what I came up with. What are my ideal customer's feelings? It's number one, frustrated with their progress, confused about which path to take, lonely because of the amount of time that they spend in front of the computer, disappointed because they're not further along, deprived because they can't buy every course or program that comes out, self-doubt because it feels like it must be them that's doing something wrong, stressed out between the gap uh, between their dreams and their current reality, embarrassed because of the lack of progress if they've involved their family, and resentful because of all the marketing promises that have been made to them. Now when you answer all of those questions, the final thing that you should do is make a customer avatar. So it's the one person that you're speaking to, the ideal customer or the ideal client when you're making your video sales letter. And here again, this is mine in the internet marketing space and his name's Bill. So Bill is 40 years old, he's married with children and he's stuck in a job that he doesn't enjoy. His wife doesn't understand why he's trying to build an online business. She thinks it's stupid and that he's an idiot for trying. This frustrates Bill because he's doing the best that he can to provide for his family and he's searching for a way to build a better life for all of them. His biggest desire is to quit his job that pays him $40,000 per year. He's afraid of loss and embarrassment but doesn't want to openly admit it and he wants a lifestyle more than money. He wants significance, respect and credibility he wants to be young again. And that's uh, an example of a customer avatar in the internet marketing space. Okay, and you, you, f you find out your customer avatar by answering uh, these questions. And once you know that information, it just makes it so much easier to, to write sales material targeted towards them 
uh, and making it so that you can touch on the the things that they that they want and the things that they're afraid of. Yeah, exactly. And I, and I I honestly believe that it's the biggest thing that people miss out. And that that's why we do it as the first module in the training. Like people make the fancy videos or they'll follow a script, but if they re- if they're not talking to the right person, it doesn't matter how good the video is or how much traffic you're going to get. You know, if 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 you're not talking to the right market, you're not talking to the right person, you're not going to make any money. And that's why this is so important. I think so many people miss it out. People that are interested in buying this, are there in general they're going to be interested in using it to make money that's that's what we all that's what we're all here for what's the fastest way that someone can use what you're teaching and go ahead and make some money back from from their purchase um two ways that probably the fastest way is to um do something like a, a Google Hangout or a, or a video on a product and you're going to promote that product as an affiliate. And the reason why that's faster is, as you know, Mike, because you don't have to create the product and create the members area, create the sales page, create uh, the actual sales video. It's already done for you. Mm-hmm. So if you can pick a, a product to promote as an affiliate and create a video, rank it to the top of Google or rank it to the top of YouTube, uh, that's the fastest way that you, that you can make money. Uh, and that's one of the modules that we've added in that's brand new, Google Hangout Traffic. And it teaches you the A to Z of how to use Google Hangouts and also teaches you, uh, it's like a case study of how you can pick an affiliate product and rank it to the top of YouTube and to the top of Google. Uh, the problem with that is uh, you're not really creating a, a massively sustainable business. You're not mm-hmm. creating your own asset. So uh, although I'd say that's the fastest way to make money using video, I would recommend people uh, certainly they can do that on the side but I recommend that people create their own product or go into their own marketplace and then create a sales video uh, get it on the internet start driving traffic and make money from there because then you'll own the asset and it's a bit more scalable so you can definitely use the you can use the material and the the psychology and the video creation methods to promote products as an affiliate and yep. if you want to go to that next step which everyone should eventually get to that point of uh, creating and, and selling your, your own products. Uh, okay, so if they, if they pick up this product, they're gonna have access to uh, all the video training. Um, what else is in the members area? Can you just go over that really quickly? Sure, they get the, the video training, they get the done for you scripts, the done for you templates, they get uh, the, th- the, there's three brand new uh, bonus modules, um, they get all the resources that I use in my business, so all of the video resources that I recommend, but also you know the people that I use for graphics, for uh, design, you know everything that I use in my business. They have a resources rolodex. Uh, they get a lot of bonuses. They get royalty free music tracks. Uh, there's a customer only Facebook group that you know I'm not just the only video expert in there. We have people like Lon Naylor, Joey Soto, Bertrand Heath. You know a whole lot of video experts that are in that group. They're active in the community, and when people have their videos and they create them, you know, and and they ask questions or post in the group, we're all there to help and support the people moving forwards. And that Facebook group, that's part of the the front end product. That's included. That's not an it's, extra exactly uh, forty yeah, dollars a month or anything. That's included no, inside. Inclu- of included in the front end product. Yeah, exactly. Cool. Nice. That's a nice uh, inclusion there. It's nice to get a little bit. I'm sure people, when they create their videos, they want to get someone to to maybe take a look at it before they put it out to the whole world. And can they take their videos and post them in the group and say, guys, can you take a look at this? Is that something you allow? Exactly. That's what we do. And and full disclosure, and I'm going to take you behind the scenes a little bit now, is that uh, the reason why we did this, we did this with the first launch just out of the goodness of our hearts because, you know, we're, we're here to help people. Uh, take their business to their next level like and especially me like last year uh, you know I had a full-time job at the start of last year you know I was working nine to five it was making me miserable and one of the things that I promised myself is that when I was online full-time and I was making a a good consistent online income I want to help as many people as I can you know that's the main reason but also uh, one of the reasons why you know it's going to stay there and we're going to stay active is because the VAT laws have changed Uh, If you don't want to pay VAT on digital products, especially in the UK where I'm from, uh, you have to have some one-on-one interaction with the customers. So that's why that's why we add. It's kind of like a way to get around it a little bit, so we don't have to pay VAT as well. But it means that we're constantly going to be in there helping people day in day out. Any questions that people have, 
you know, we was in there before, but now, you know, it's a main priority for us to make sure we're showing that we're in there helping people and helping people take their business to the next level. You guys aren't going anywhere. You're, you're, you're <laughs> exactly. one of those groups where you're going to join and never hear from you guys again. You're, you're going to exactly. be Exactly. We're going to be in there and we're going to be helping people every day. Tell us about the first one-time offer. Uh, the first one-time offer is a product called Traffic Flare. Uh, in, in my business, I use, I have three traffic generation methods, YouTube, um, Facebook ads, you know, Facebook pay-per-click, and joint venture and affiliate traffic. Um, and I teach people uh, the exact methods that I use. And, and it's to such a level that it's it's more like a case study. Mm -hmm. Like for the Facebook ads, I show you the ads that I use, the targeting, the pricing, the bidding strategy. For the JV and affiliate recruitment and JV and affiliate traffic, I show you the, uh, I give you the email swipes, I show you the live conversations that I'm having with joint venture partners and how I can get them on board. Like it's literally over the shoulder training because at the end of the day, you know, you could have the best video sales letter in the world, but the formula is traffic plus conversion mm -hmm. equals sales. Now, if you don't have one of those, if you have plenty of traffic and a crap website that doesn't convert, you're not going to make any sales and vice versa. If you have no traffic, but the best converting video sales letter in the world, you're going to make no sales. So they kind of go hand in hand. So the OTO one is uh, me just teaching people the traffic methods that I use day in, day out in my business so they can, uh, now they've got a high converting video sales letter, they've got the conversion side covered, they'll know how to drive traffic to that offer so they can make sales. And the next OTO goes right along with that where if you have traffic, uh, and, you, and you've got high conversions, you need to have a product as well or something, whether you're selling it as an affiliate or uh, you're the, the product seller, you're the vendor of the product. Tell us about the next OTO. Yeah, the, the second OTO is a reseller platform. So uh, people can, uh, if they invest in OTO2, they can sell Elite Video Evolution uh, and get keep 100% of the commissions. They'll have the sales pages, the sales videos that we've already created. They'll have the products, the upsells, the sales funnel. It's all uh, done for them. So then, like, I, like, like you were saying earlier, if someone wants to make money as fast as they can, you know, that would be the best option to take. Take what we've already built. Uh, you know, we're only opening this for seven days and we're closing it down, but you'll be able to carry on selling that product and keeping 100% of all of the money and all the commissions for yourself. And that was a concern I had there. Like I could see someone saying, well, how am I going to compete with, with someone like Ryan who it's, he's created the product. You, you're not going to be selling the product anymore. It's going to be for just people that have uh, purchased this reseller rights. Even I'm not going to be able to sell it as an affiliate. It, it's going to be only for people that have bought that, that resale package that are going to be able to continue to sell this, correct? Correct. Yeah, it's only for seven days. On, on the last product launch that I do, I normally sell... Uh, master resale rights for I, I, I resell five copies at four hundred ninety seven dollars and five copies at nine hundred ninety seven dollars mm -hmm. and they always sell out you know this time like like we just want to put as much value in the marketplace as we can we said instead of doing this on the back end let's put it in there put it in the funnel you know we won't charge an arm and a leg for this let's just offer it to people you can get them started faster and we can help you know get more people from working a job that they might not enjoy and change their lifestyle and work online full time. Ryan, thank you so much for coming on the show today. Is there anything else, anything that we missed, anything, any tips or tricks that you wanted to mention before we wrap it up? Um, no, I, I, I think that's I think that's everything. I guess one more tip is a little bonus that, same again, no one ever talks about. Something we go in in the course is how to use embedded commands. So if you, even if you don't buy the course, but you're making your own video sales letters or making your own sales pages, uh, instead of, like, for example, you could say, uh, by now, I'm sure that you agree with me that video is the way to go in 2015. And I've just subconsciously embedded the command by now into that sentence. And if you look at the top copywriters and the top video sales letters, they even write, instead of saying, by now, I'm sure that you will agree with me that X, Y, and Z, they even write it, not B-Y, as in by now, how it should be pronounced. They put B-U-Y, as in literally by now, you agree with me that videos essential in your marketing and ah. and you don't pick this up consciously it's one of the subconscious little things like another one is um, like Mike you like me uh, agree that uh, making money online is really cool and like the, the embedded command I just put in there is Mike you like me 
Yeah. And and it's getting and, and, and it's these uh, there's a lot of little subconscious kind of under the radar things that we talk about in module three, psychology, influence and persuasion that I've literally seen you know, no one in the whole marketplace talk about in regards to video. So it's you know, just getting that module is worth the price of the of the product alone. Awesome. And again, this is uh, for everyone watching, this is live right now. It actually the cart just went live a, a little while ago. Uh, and it's going to be open, you said, for, for seven days. So it's Set Seven days only. Cool. Ryan, again, thank you so much for coming on the show and uh, best of luck with your launch. Thanks, Mike. I hope you enjoyed the interview today with Ryan. If you are interested in picking up Elite Video Evolution 2.0, you are in luck as it is live. You can grab it now at an early bird discounted price. The price is continually going up but I've got a little bit of a discount code for you. So make sure you grab that code. You should see it right above this interview and you can get a discount at checkout along with my special bonuses. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow.